Hello again. In my last video, you saw me take out this solenoid and replace uh, this factory style starter with a high torque mini starter. Um, the reason I had this on there was to solve a hot start issue, but it didn't solve the problem, so I pulled it back out. Um, I am going to show you two ways that this can still be useful though for you. So don't uh, write this thing off entirely. Um, as you can see, I've got it in this little Frankenstein setup here. We have our simulated battery, which is just running off a uh, battery jumper. We have our positive coming into our hot side of the solenoid. We have our switch source for the solenoid. This would normally be activated by the uh, crank position on your um, ignition key. And then we have the switched out, which goes to our starter. You can see on the starter, I still left my, uh, my little bypass connector here. That way the uh, uh, solenoid gets activated as long as this power comes in still. And then we have our simulated ground. Normally the starter would ground through the block. We don't have a block, so it's just running over to our ground here. And then we have another ground connecting the uh, chassis of our solenoid to the ground as well, so the, le the electromagnetic <laughs> electromagnet in this thing would still work. Um, the first scenario would be if you do a lot of work underneath the hood of your car um, and you want to be able to, to uh, bump the engine over without having to reach around the door all the time to do it, um, you can do so. And don't get me wrong, everybody loves a good reach around, but it gets old after a little while. So what you can do is wire this up to this terminal here to a switch that's mounted either on the firewall or on the fender, and then run that switch back to your uh, constant 12 volt someplace. That way when you connect, uh, when you push your momentary switch, you'll complete that circuit and activate the starter and bump it over. It's very handy if you're doing your compression tests, timing, um, things of that nature. I'm going to turn on the uh, power here and I'll show you how that would work. Now I'm an untrained idiot so don't do this at home. I'm just showing you how this system is supposed to work. Um, I've got the charger set on its uh, medium setting so this doesn't fly off and try to kill me or anybody else. Bob's your uncle. Starter starts up. Scenario two. Let's say you're out in the bush in your Jeep or other 4x4 vehicle. The, uh, you go to get out of there, you put your key in, turn it to the crank position, and nothing. Either the fuse is blown, the wires burned out, the switching system inside is burned out, whatever the case is, you're screwed. But not necessarily. What you can do is you can actually jump from your constant 12 here straight to this terminal using something like a screwdriver or a wrench, like so. That should get you started, and you can get the uh, vehicle home, and you can fix your wiring or figure out whatever your problem is. All right, I hope that gives you some ideas that you can use with this uh, starter solenoid. If you have any other comments, questions, or suggestions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below.